What's up guys, WG Slick here from the WG on Xbox YouTube channel, bringing you the world's first video on how to unlock the Goffinen Forge. Uh, now the first step is to kill a fallen enemy that's going to drop you a piece of painted armor and take that to A to 1 and up to ignite the quest. Uh, we, we acquired this item by just running the raid, uh, we were just kind of interested to see what it looked like, and we ended up getting the first uh, part of the quest line to unlocking the new forge in Destiny 2 Black Armory. Once you get, go to Ada and you acquire this, this quest, the first step is to kill 35 fallen with precision shots and you pick up uh, more of this tainted, tainted Black Armory armor. Once you've finished acquiring all 35 pieces, you will move on to the next quest step, which requires you to go see the spider. So now we're finally getting into a little bit of storyline in this uh, Black Armory DLC that we haven't had so far. So once you visit the spider, uh, he's going to start kind of going on about, you know, the relationship between Ada and the Guardians and, and this and this and that. Um, he's going to give you the next step of the quest line, which is kill 75 Fallen with Melee and do the uh, Cryopod Heroic Public Event. And neither of these are difficult. Really, this whole quest line isn't difficult at all. It's a little bit tedious at parts, um, but, you know, if, if you're just, you know, a reasonably okay player at the game, you'll be able to finish this quest and unlock this second forge. So just showing you here where uh, me and my partner decided to go through and finish this part of the quest. Um, just hanging outside, right outside of Spider's hideout, that's probably the best way to get these melee kills. And that's also where the cryopod event spawns. Uh, we tried running lost sectors and farming, but that doesn't really make any sense. Just throw in a sword, make sure you have no ammo in the sword, and you'll get the melee kills done almost instantly. After you finish this part of the quest, you have to go back to the Spider, and he is going to relay you onto the next part which requires you to go to the EDZ. And the EDZ is when you're going to have the first real uh, mission, sort of, that, that's uh, in this Black Army DLC. And the mission really isn't anything that's special. Um, it it kind of leads into a little bit of uh, some of the storyline here. Basically, Spider's brother is uh, screwing with the Black Army and robbing them of stuff. So we're going to go to the EDZ and try and recover some of those caches. And the gist of the mission is just run through a bunch of the lost sectors that are in the EDZ. Um, you know, in the outskirts and, and in the surrounding regions. Uh, none of it's really that difficult. You have to kill some of the high-level Forge Saboteur-style enemies with the robots shielding them, um, but hopefully you know how to do that. Just shoot the robots, drop the shield, and then burn the boss, and it's not that hard. You scan the cache, it's just like as if it was any other um, scanning item with the ghost. After that, you have the most tedious part of the entire quest line. You have to kill a fallen captain, uh, high-value target, that's on Nessus, and uh, the way we did this, uh, it took us 20 minutes basically. We just kind of sat in the um, Exodus Black and hoped that you know we would we would get a high value target there. Um, if you leave that area, you're kind of taking your chance. Am I going to get the Captain or am I going to get the Minotaur, a high value target? So we just decided to stick and chill there for 20 minutes. You just crack open a cold one with your boy and uh, hang out there for a little bit. Then you're going to have the second mission uh, in this quest line that's an actual mission to start. Um, you're going to do the same similar concept as the EDZ mission, except it's a fallen, or excuse me, it's a lost sector on Nessus. Still with the fallen, of course, uh, this whole forge line is about the fallen. And uh, it's the same, again, same style. Kill the boss, scan the cache, and you're going to unlock the next step. And it's at this point that you actually discover, hey, this whole quest line is uh, for the second, the second forge. Uh, so now that you've done this step, uh, you're actually going to be going to the forge uh, at this point. And uh, it's just a mission that you launch. It's straight uh, right next to Artifact's Edge. And um, once you get to this forge, uh, there's probably a couple things that I would recommend that you should have equipped uh, before you go there. I'd recommend using the Whisper of the Worm. Um, yeah, you could maybe use Sleeper, but uh, definitely have uh, the, something like that, a high DPS uh, weapon. Um, because it's basically the same style as the previous forge with, with the boss, with you know the robots and everything like that, and you, and you just have to burn it down quickly. It has a little bit higher health, and, and all these missions are a uh, higher power level. They're 620, so you probably want to be at least around the 610 range before you go into all these. Um, you might have some trouble otherwise, especially if you're trying to solo these missions. Uh, you might run into trouble if you're not a high enough level. Another thing you can try and do is if you notice there's a public event banner somewhere nearby, go ahead and snag the public event banner, and then it's just gonna give you all the heavy ammo and all the super energy that you're gonna need to be successful. But as soon as you turn the, the corner here, you're gonna notice the giant fallen server that you have to fight. Uh, like I said, if you just sit back here in this corner to the left um, that you're gonna see me and my, my buddy go to once we come in here, um, that's probably the best place that you're gonna be wanting to sit uh, just to spam the boss. We didn't actually put on our, our whisper to start, so we were kinda had, we had the uh, Black Army LMG out and we were trying to use that. Uh, what wasn't as easy, but we ended up getting it done. It, it, like I said, it's not a hard quest line. 
Uh, and at this point, you have officially unlocked the forge. Uh, all you gotta do is go and return to Ada, and once you return to her, she's gonna give you a little bit of dialogue about completing the forge, uh, which I will play for you right now. Nice job, Guardian. You found another forge, took down the fallen, and saved the day. Is that what you hope to hear? Sorry to disappoint, but I am not your precious vanguard. That was rude of me. I just never intended on playing fetch with guardians. And now this. Civics attempts to steal what we hold dear. I eagerly anticipate the day we return the favor. And Guardians, that is it. You have successful, successfully unlocked the Goffinen Forge. And uh, if you see here, you get the sniper rifle frame uh, to do that next part. I'll make a video on that uh, shortly. And like, you, like I said, go ahead and look at Nessus, and you're going to see the Goffinen Forge appear right in the bottom of Artifact's Edge. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.